Hey everyone, this is Frosty, and today I'm going to be doing a video in a different way than I usually do. So what I'm going to be doing is casting, or not casting, commentating as I play a 1v1 StarCraft game. So you guys can kind of get a perspective on how I play, you know, maybe give me some better tips. Anyways, so here I am, I am Platinum in 5th place in 1v1, and I'm going to be Zerg. And I wonder what I'll be facing, but we'll find out in three seconds. So, today I will be fighting a Terran. So, I really enjoy fighting Terran. I'm not really sure. I don't always win against them, of course. But, uh, I always love using Banelings, and I feel like against Terran, I always use Banelings. Except for last game. Last game, he all did tanks, and... Well, tanks are pretty good to blow up with Banelings, but it doesn't matter. Here we go. Shakira's Plateau, and... I know he's not going to be across from me, so I'm going to go over here. He's not, he's definitely not going to be over here on this side of the map. Alright, so I should probably be building things right now, though, instead of talking. This is going to be the hard part. <laughs> Too much talking will uh, lead to loss. So I'm not sure how many of these videos I will be doing. I'm going to try it once, see how it goes. Um, if it goes well, if I happen to not be failing because of my talking, then I'll do more. So. So we'll just be building an overlord next, not too much happening of course in the beginning of this game. And I guess I'll just send out a zerg or a drone to go and scout the bases. We'll probably get there way before this overlord does. Um, plus I can just leave that overlord outside his base so that I can scout uh, when I need to basically. So I'm going to be building, I'll probably do a 15 pool at least, maybe a hatchery, I haven't thought about it yet. If he starts walling off his natural then I'll definitely be going for uh, early expansion. But we should find out pretty soon if he's going to be in this far corner on the top right. No drones yet. Alright, so here we go. First base, is he there? Yes he is, and he is not walling off both. So I guess I'll just do a 15 pool and then expand when I can. And that's basically how it's go gonna go. So I'll build my spawning pool and then a gas right after. I've actually started seeing more Zerg players starting their gas first, and I was wondering what you guys thought of that. Would you suggest building a spawning pool first or the extractor? Just let me know in the comment bar. Anyways, back to building drones, and I usually put guys on this gas way too early and they just sit there, so I'm trying to stop that. Grab three drones, and I see that probably a marine is going to pop it sometime soon. There he, yep. And I'll just circle around this base, maybe take his gas. Uh, when you go in big circles uh, versus Terran, they just chase you, then they're never going to catch you. They'll eventually kill you though. It'll just be a little bit slower. Anyways, we can see he's now in my base. Uh, there is his SCV running around. And I guess I'll just build one Zergling to take care of them. I guess it's really two, but here he comes. He's coming to kill me. He's actually not doing too bad. I want to get as much... Sc oh, I was going to get as much scouting information as possible, but it looks like I'm not going to get that much. So I guess I'll just be building some Zerglings, some drones, and... Actually, I should kill that guy get him out of my base and it looks like it's uh, gonna be pretty easy to kill him I'll put these two guys on those towers and get back to making some drones actually another queen would probably be good because I like to spread my queen creep really early and a bailing nest is always always a good idea so more drones actually I wouldn't suggest bailings against protoss they usually don't work very well so don't try that <laughs> anyways Let's go and scout what he's doing now. Um, I'll send this circling out. Man, I really don't like sending all these circlings out in a way, because if he comes in, then that's three circlings less of an army that I have. But I guess it won't matter. My speed is about a quarter way done, and I'm gonna inject some larva, make some tons of drones. Actually, I need some overlords, so I'll be doing that as well. And here comes my queen. She just popped out. And more drones, but I can't build anything because I'm supply locked. Oh no, so that's strike one on supply lock. I hope I don't get three strikes. What happens if I get three strikes? <laughs> ah, I don't want three strikes. Anyways, I think I can build some circlings. I kind of want a bit of a force. Oh man, he is going for something severe here. Oh no, so he is going to be coming in quite early, it seems like. I'm going to want to build something. I see three barracks, one with a tech lab and 
I could probably run by here. He has a lot of marines, and my circling did pretty well at getting into his base, but I think he's gonna die actually pretty quickly, but I now see what he's going for. He's going for a ton of zergling, oh, not zerglings, a ton of marines. Uh, but I think I can handle that. I don't know if he thinks that I've expanded, but I'm not going to expand if he's going to be building that big of an army and coming in at me. So, I'll build a couple drones, and I don't want to supply lock myself this time because I don't want to get a second strike. So that is very important. <laughs> Anyways, this queen's just going to keep spreading that creep. The creep is actually also really important because if he comes in with, you know, some tanks, it gives you that speed to destroy them a little faster before they, you know, kill you. It looks like he's actually going to be coming in with one marine here. I wonder if he has a bunker out there. I, uh, I can't see why he'd have a bunker. I'll go kill him with a few of my guys. I don't want him to see my big army. I want him to kind of think and be confident about coming in. And then I just totally dominate him, you know? <laughs> uh, but I, I am way behind right now, actually. This talking is not doing so well. Uh, I'm going to build tons of zerglings. Maybe another extractor. I definitely need some... Um, banelings in case he happened to do a drop. It's always good to make a few banelings because if he drops you don't have the banelings ready then you kind of get a little bit screwed. So another extractor would actually be good as well and it looks like here he comes. He's going to be coming in with his army and I'm going to want to get a few more banelings than that. But I think this should be holding up pretty well. And here he comes. He's taken out both of those towers with my guys, but I do have that creep spread, so I will see when he gets on my base area, basically. Now I'll just go and sit out there, make my spawn point over there as well, and scout to see exactly where he is. I'm going to go to that top tower because I know he went to that one first, and it looks like he's actually going to be coming in with one marine, maybe. Um, but I'm gonna put that guy in the tower, and I'm really not sure what he's doing. I'm kind of nervous right now, but, um, there he goes. He sees my army. Maybe I should t try to attack. Probably not, because my, uh, Bailings don't have speed, so they can die really quickly. But, what shall I get? A bunch of drones? I should probably scout right now. I have two guys on that extractor. I have not supplied my lock myself, uh, supplied lock myself yet. And let's just send another Zergling out to see if what in the world this guy is doing, because I have no idea. This lady needs to inject some creep. Whew. Anyways, I should probably be building another queen. I have so much money. Uh, did I build an infestation pit? No, I did not, but I should build a evolution chamber and an infestation pit. And it looks like there he is, and he has a ton of marines, that's all I really see. I'm not really sure what he's doing, so I am going to have to go over here. That Zergling did not get very good scouting information in. Maybe um, some spine crawlers would actually be quite well here. Oh, almost supplied luck myself there, but second strike is not coming up yet. Anyways, here- oh, I totally forgot about this guy. This overlord came all the way over here, and then he just is useless now. I could have turned him into an overseer, and uh, that would have been much more worth it. Anyways, oh no, I supply locked myself. Did I really? Did I really? Come on, there has to be some overlords coming out. There has to be some overlords. There's no overlords. Alright, that was terrible. Strike two. Oh gosh, I cannot get one more strike. I don't know what's gonna happen, but something good is not gonna happen. I can tell you that. And looks like here comes my uh, overseer slowly into his base. I'm gonna get some upgrades here. Oh no, wrong upgrade. And oh man, I'm really not sure what I got. I got that bailing speed and I guess he's coming in with more... Hmm. He's just trying to kill off my scouting, basically, but let's see, I can probably knight us here. Oh, no, I can't knight us. Oh, they went on back. I'll just join his group, pretend that I was part of the family, and uh, I kind of want to get some more scouting in there, so I'll try to do that as well. Probably should be building some drones. I really don't know what he's doing. He just keeps scouting me, basically. I, uh, I'm confused. I don't know if he's doing something secretive, but here- Ah, no! Not the missile turrets, but here comes a factory, and there's a starport that, oh, there's going to be a reactor. Okay, so hellions are coming out. There are some hellions, so that means I'm going to need some roaches. 
Whew, good thing I scouted that, and I don't see, it looks like he's actually going to be coming in right now. It looks like tanks as well, since he does have a tech lab up, and maybe he's just defending. Oh man, he is much more saturated than me right now. I think I could probably go in though. I have a lot of stuff, I must say. Let's try it. I have bailing speed. I think I could do it. It's just, uh, will it work? I'm not sure if it will work, but we'll see. I'm gonna cross my fingers and pray, and I am way oversaturated there. Maybe it's because I haven't even put that on four. So will I be able to deplete his force? I hope so. Oh man. Oh no. All right. So let's build a few more bailings since a bunch of them just happened to die there. And it looks like he has tanks not sieged yet, so that is good. I'm kind of worried right now because he could get sieged at any second. And oh, there comes the siege just too late. Oh, just too late for that siege. So what shall I do? What shall I do? I guess I'll expand. Let's expand. I want to out-expand him. Uh, it would have been such a great opportunity to go in, but it didn't happen today. So I guess I'll build another evolution chamber and some zergling speed. Let's get some investors. They're always fun to play with, right? <sighs> I can't believe he died. I can't believe my... Re my Changeling Marine died and now I can't see exactly what he's got, but let's see what I can do here. I can still scout to see exactly what he's going to be building. It looks like he's... he came in with something there. I'm going to back off to my base in case he comes in with some reactors because he is going to possibly build some... Ah! I lost that. I lost the Changeling again. Again with the Changeling. Uh, I have a lot of minerals and not a lot of gas. This is not good. So I'm going to be gassing up as much as I can and looks like his force is going to be coming in soon to kill me or try to kill me. Hopefully he doesn't kill me. I do have a couple infestors so that is going to be good to use. Uh, hopefully he doesn't see all of those. Um, I have a lot of overlords there and I would not want them to die but it looks like he's actually going to proceed maybe. This would be a good time to go in actually right now especially when all my force comes in. I think I'm just going to go for it. He's just sitting out there, not sieged right now. This is a great opportunity to go in. Surprise attack, right? This is what I want, and hopefully I can do it. Surround these Hellions nicely, and no siege yet, no siege yet, and here we go. Fungle, 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 and pull my ancestors back. It looks like I just took care of this army completely. That was beautiful. It worked exactly as I would have liked it to. My changeling did very well there. Great scouting for me, and it looks like that is a very bailingable nest. And is he gonna let me in? Is he gonna let me in? I don't think he's gonna let me in, but I'm gonna bailing that. Uh, there's no tanks there right now, so I think I have a slight opportunity to go in and destroy him. So I'll catch up my army over here. It looks like he does have a hellion though. So that's not going to be the greatest, and a couple medevacs actually, so I wouldn't be surprised if he was going to be dropping there, but probably not anymore since I'm going to be coming for an attack very, very soon. I want to destroy what I can here. Hopefully these bailings can actually do something. Bailings to the rescue. Oh, nice. And I took apart a, uh, a bunch of his SCVs. A bunch of his SCVs just died there, but uh, I should probably build some drones, you know, saturate this base. And I guess I'll go Roach, you know, kind of surprise him a bit. I was going all that Zergling there, but uh, going Roach would be quite good. And keeping on with those Infestors, they did actually really well. And I think I can pull this game off. I'm, I feel confident, but you never know. He could be making Banshees for all I know. And need more gas for sure, though. I'm very uh, low on gas. Oh no, he's dropped! Big surprise! He dropped in my base, he's probably going to drop in my other base, I wouldn't be surprised at that, but this is going to be easy to take care of unless he's going to kill all of my drones there, that kind of sucks. <clears throat> but he didn't kill, I can build drones really quickly because I have a lot, a lot of minerals right now. And not enough, not enough gas, that is what I need right now, I need some gas pretty badly. Actually I have two investors just sitting there, that's pretty nice, that's a nice surprise. Uh, I should send all these guys back, and I guess I should go in and scout one more time, send this queen to inject some larva, she's been kind of lacking on that lately, get some, get some roaches I guess, I think he was building a missile, yeah he built a missile turret there, I was gonna try to come up and, 
uh, pop up near him, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So, what would you guys suggest I do right now? Do you think I should actually attack? Or, you know, drone up? I feel like droning up is the right idea, because I think I killed a bunch of his SCVs, but we'll skip that now, and hope that he's going the same thing, not getting upgrades, that would be nice. But here comes four marines, he's gonna think he has four extra marines here. Maybe he'll go in and try to beat me. Oh, let's follow these guys. Come on, let's be inconspicuous. It looks like he is coming in. I'm not sure, I'm gonna be building tons of Zerglings, so it looks like he actually wants to expand here. I don't want him to expand, that's not good. I don't want him to expand. Ah, oh, infestors. Oh, I don't have burrow, no. No, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want a queen. I wanted some burrow. This is not good. I don't want him to expand again. No! And I don't want that to be a planetary, of course, as, like, that would be no good as well. But I think I'm just gonna try to go in. I think I might be able to take it. I'll just rally to this roach and see exactly. Hopefully I can do something here. I'm not sure if I can. I have lots of fungal on me, so... It looks like his army is actually nicely separated, and I'll take advantage of that. It looks like he's in my base though, destroying all my drones, um, but that queen can probably take care of that. Uh, oh no, okay, let's go here. I think I can go in and fungal the shit out of him. Fungal, fungal, fungal. Oh no, fungal. Oh, fungal everything. Oh, I think I've run out of fungal, but I can T-click. Alright, so that's not bad. I'm gonna have uh, some backup to kill off the rest of those really, really weak... Oh man, he has a lot. I gotta get these guys out of here. Sorry! Uh, but he might kill me. I'm not sure. I He has a lot of tanks. What the hell am I gonna do with all those tanks? I guess... I guess I'll go Broodlord. I guess, I, I guess I have a mic for- What? No! He's expanding again? This is ridiculous! This guy is really trying to outdo me here, and I do not like that. Oh, this is not good, and he is going to be building a planetary as well, so I'm probably going to get a lot of infestors. I'm just going to fungal- no, I'm going to T-click the shit out of that. Um, sorry about the language. Yay, language. Anyways, this queen is- needs to inject more larva! Or she doesn't need to inject larva. This queen needs to inject some larva. I just have a bunch of drones just sitting all the way over there. I need to expand a couple times. Expansions are on the way, and I cannot have this guy expand. I do not like this. So, I should have my bro down sometime soon, and then I will go in with whatever I have. And looks like I don't have a rally point though, so that's not good. All my infestors just sat at the base there. What should I build? I'm gonna build some roaches, I guess. They're not the greatest against tanks, but let's see what I can do. I think this amount of infestors should be good. Sneak past into his base. Maybe put a couple in each base, really. Especially if I can get, uh, that would be beautiful, T-click over there and kill everything I can. That would be good. Uh, but more roaches for sure. I want to see some roaches. Oh no! No! They just happened to Oh, that was very, very, very unlucky of me. Very unlucky. So I guess I should keep building stuff. It looks like he's actually trying to push forward here. And I'm just gonna wait for him to let me in. Because he's gonna let himself in, of course. So it should be pretty soon when I should be getting in his base there. It looks like, though, he's pushing forward. I think I'd still take it, though. Especially if I make tons of banelings. So, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here. I really want to get into his base. Not sure if I can do it though right now. I think I can totally take care of his army though. I'm gonna try and go in for that. And then, and then I guess I'll see what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna go in and see. And I can just probably rip apart this other part of the army here. So this is actually going really well, though he does act he's actually on a lot of bases and that's not really great for me. I'm going to probably Alright, so that is a lot of infested terror. And they are just gonna kill off all those plague clothes and then they're gonna walk come on, they're gonna walk over here and take apart that missile turret. Oh no! No, not the investors! I did not have very good control there. 
Let's keep going in though. I, uh, oh man. I have a fungal, 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 and run away, run away. I need some more of a badly, 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 and it looks like he realizes that I want to go for broodlords, so he built <coughs> vikings, so broodlords are now out of the question, <laughs> and these guys are uh, doing pretty well, I'm just going to probably keep them here, they're burrowed, so they should regain their health, and then they're going to go in and kill everything. Whew, I am not sure if I'm going to win now. This is uh, kind of iffy. I should burrow these guys, though, get their health back to normal, and get as many upgrades as I can, as well as adrenal glands, as well as tons of zerglings, because I do have... I don't even know if I have supply locked myself again. I could be on the third strike. Oh, no, it looks like he's going to be coming in here, and oh, of course he's going to be destroying everything of mine. Where is everything? Oh, I do not have a lot right now, though, so I should be kind of scared. But, uh, oh, this is scary, I must say, but I could probably go in here and sneak around his base. I don't mind if he destroys that. Take, take his time. He can take his time there so I can build up a better army and destroy him a little faster. Ah, missile target! Alright. Click, 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 click. So they're just going to try and destroy that base. Okay. And let's go in here since he's not even set up. Oh, he's set up on the top there though, so I'm going to want to back off. <clears throat> and I did not actually kill his base yet. But I think I should be able to at least uh, prevent him from getting some minerals, maybe. Maybe, I do not- oh, this is terrible, this is not fun, that's not good. <sighs> so he's just gonna destroy my base here, that- I feel like that's a little bit unfair. I wish I could do that, but I can't. Um, oh no, of course, just run past- oh, oh man, this is not- Actually, it's not looking too bad right now, because he just threw out all those tanks, except uh, he does have a lot of backup here. I'm not exactly sure if I can do this. Um, he has a lot of guys, I'm kind of scared, to be honest. Uh, I feel like I don't have very good control right now of everything. And I should put these drones over here and start some gas. I need some gas quite badly right now and build up my army as much as I can. And of course, some zerglings and some banelings are always a good idea, especially against this Protoss player. Or he's not Protoss, is he? No, he's not Protoss. He's, uh, he's actually Terran. Anyways, <coughs> round two, shall we say? These guys are just going to destroy the mules, if they can. Just destroy all his <coughs> drones and stuff. Man, I don't know what I'm going to build here. I'm scared. He's expanded a lot. Um, I can't believe I let him get those two expansions up. That was really bad of me. Hell, I'm just going to expand again. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying everything I can think of here, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do now. I just have two mutas, so maybe if I go in with more mutas, maybe if I do a huge, like, muta. Maybe I'll try that, going with a ton of mutas. Surprise, I've switched to now mutas. Maybe I shouldn't be switching those so often. I probably need some more banelings, though. And I'll be building not very many, I can only build a few. So we'll see what I can do here. And back off. Because he's setting up. I don't want to run into his setup tanks. Would anybody want to run into his setup tanks? No. Um, so I'm going to probably wait till he tries to unset those up. Unset those up. I wonder if he still has... Um, I'm going to try... No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I don't like when they do that. They just start running in for it. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I feel trapped. I feel very trapped. We'll see what I can do. Well, uh, not sure. Thinking about it, thinking about it. This is not good. Alright, so I'm gonna burrow these guys, I guess. Go in. 
This is the best thing I can think of, and just t t t t t t t t right all over his shit. Before that did not do anything. That didn't even do anything. That was terrible. All right, I might be actually screwed this game. I'm just gonna go in and just hope that something happens here. Something magical. Can something magical happen to me today? I hope so. Come on, let's kill this tank before it happens to set up. I need to kill his army badly. I need- why is everything running away? It can't run away. So no, running away is not the good idea to do. But these guys should probably be doing a little bit extra. I'm gonna send this guy to the front of the ramp so they can get up a little bit easier. Oh, look at that, I didn't want to. And... Let's do some T clicking. T click 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 click. And I'm gonna run into his base now and destroy his planetary if I can. Though he is repairing it, so that's not good. What do you think, guys? Am I gonna destroy it? I destroyed that planetary. Beautiful. That was beautiful. Alright, I feel like I don't have much of an army though left. And he's still expanding! I can't even get up there yet. No, this is not good. Alright, I'm gonna be building some mutas. This is it. Oh, I'm getting frustrated with this guy. I need some more drones. That's what I need. I just need some more gas. This is a long game, I must say. Sorry if I'm boring you guys, but <laughs> this is just how it goes. I guess I'll send a few roaches up over here to destroy the rocks. It looks like he's actually gonna be killing those rocks. I want to get those guys out of the way. He's probably going to destroy them, so I'm going to try to replace them as best I can. Here comes all of his forces trying to kill me. Hopefully he fails. I hope he does. I'm not sure what's going to happen here. I do have a bunch of mutants, so I can use those to my advantage right now. And if you can see that I'm actually coming in through the back of that base right there, and I'm sure he doesn't want that. I want it, yes. Um, but it looks like he's actually set up. I just want to destroy that, run away, back to my guys, and make a surprise attack. A surprise attack would be good, and this is not good though. He has so many missile turrets, I don't even know if I can take them all. But I'll see what I can do. I'll try my best, and hope everything works out well. And there's a single tank all by itself. Oh, there's lots of tanks here. This is beautiful. There's a whole load of tanks for me to kill. I guess I'll start over with these guys, kill this tank here, and just proceed my way over. It looks like he has no anti-air defense here, so this is working well for me. And I'll kill that guy, because I don't like him, and he's actually trying to repair as much as possible. I'm going to fly into his base and fly on over onto, oh man, missile turrets everywhere. So many missile turrets. I am not doing enough right now. I need... I need a lot. <laughs> That's all I, I can say. I need a lot. And uh, it's not really happening right now, but surprise! They're attacking and they're- oh, good game. Nice. Oh, apparently cap cloth was on, but there's a game for you guys. I was really lacking probably a little bit on my- what is it? Micro or macro? I always have to do this. Is it- uh, I was lacking on my macro this game, especially towards the end. I wasn't injecting as much, but luckily, luckily I pulled it out. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys very soon.